Well, good morning, our beloveds. Today is 4 11 22, a magical number day 11, manifestation for stability. 22 is creation, but through partnerships, right? It is to teach you what you can become, who you can become, why you can become this, and how you can become this. It's really that simple. We are here just to simply guide the way for you with the flashlight. But it is still your unique journey that you are being called on and some of you are still resting by the side of the road because you're not ready, you're not interested, or you just simply don't understand the terms that are being offered. And then others are on this path, but you're still struggling because it's a very different vibration to be on a light-filled path versus a logical-based or designed path. And for those of you who are doing it, congratulations. You are part of the few who understand this energetic vibrational shift. So who shall we shine a light on today? On Kati and our another. She is beginning to see her abilities. She is beginning to see her capabilities. She is beginning to see her responsibilities through different eyes, meaning that she is here to be love for her children. And when she makes a faux pas, that she really sees it for what it was and how it occurred and why it occurred and how she can apologize from a heartfelt space and create a tender moment between herself and her children. It's that simple. And while the others don't hold her to the same standard that she does, they do appreciate her new way of really truly apologizing and seeing a different way of going forward now. Does this mean that her children will choose her path? Probably not because she is uniquely unique and how she works with and through people, but nonetheless, she is modeling for them this unbelievably compassionate way of seeing her own behavior and how it hurts or harms another and then taking immediate steps to apologize, to explain why that was unacceptable from her perspective and to ask for forgiveness and then to move forward by giving hugs and kisses and acknowledgement of seeing the other person for where they are at. And that's it. That's all that is needed at this point in life. And then, in turn, she asks for something somewhat similar from another human being in her life, and this other person still was unable to offer even an understanding, let alone an acknowledgement and after many attempts to gaslight our another by shaming her for feeling as she did, she finally decided this doesn't feel good and she blocked the other person. A first for her, for somebody who has been an important person in her home, in her life, in her experience, but she just simply said, I'm going to block you. And then sent an email saying, I have blocked you, so she is still polite and respectful, but just simply said, this is not working for me right now. And it is an adjustment to have a shift and a change in your routine and your pattern because someone who was an important person in your day-to-day -day existence is no longer there. But she also knows that it is more important that she choose herself and select those who are permitted to be in her life, in her inner circle, because they can acknowledge when they have hurt our another. It doesn't mean that they have to agree, but at least acknowledge, I'm sorry that I hurt you, and let's talk about it, versus I didn't do that, or if I did, I didn't mean to. Yes, there are certain things that require conscious thought, for decision and action. Stopping an action that is actually in force requires a conscious effort to cease action. 
And when you do that, there is a reason. There is maybe a logical or an illogical reason, but nonetheless, there was a reason an hour and another is calling bullshit on certain practices in life. And that is her journey. So why are we sharing these more intimate moments from her life to explain this to you? Well, it is this simple. If what you offer to others is not offered to you, you have every right to say, I think that this is not good enough. And I think I choose to walk away by doing this, by choosing you and honoring who you are and really figuring out what is important for you to have in your life. You will create more room for new people by walking away from those who just simply don't align with your values. And it's not a matter of better or worse, right or wrong. It's just simply saying, I don't like how this feels and walking away. And in doing so, you share or teach the other person who you are that when you say, I don't care for this, and you walk away, that it really means that you're being honest and truthful instead of trying to manipulate others. And the other person can now choose whether or not to reassess their behavior. But most importantly, you are choosing you, the inner you, the wounded you who has been told through most of your lifetime to suck it up buttercup and to accept lesser than acceptable behavior. Well, when you start to um, shrink your circle of influence, you will have a better idea of what feels good and what doesn't and why. And after you have figured this piece of it out, you can go out and invite new people into your world. But just pay attention. Figure out those who align with you and those who don't in the more important areas of life. It is not 100% across the board. But what are the big areas of your life? Truthfulness, integrity, honesty, complacency, idiocy, creativity, lack of interest in you, What are the things that draw another to you? And what are the things that cause you to walk away? Find what feels good and what doesn't. And set that basic threshold. And when you meet multiple people who behave differently, figure out within each relationship what feels good and what doesn't. And draw more of what feels good to you. And what doesn't, well... Walk away from that. Reject that in some form where you can because you simply choose you now. And when the dust settles, you will see who you have on your side of the red robin line and who's on the other side. And who do you wish to call forth and who do you wish to reject? You don't have to be kind to everyone who comes into your life. You can also choose to ignore them to walk away, or to simply say not good enough. Honoring you is first and foremost in your world these days, but we would request you do it in a loving way. You can tell somebody, this doesn't feel good, thank you, but no thank you, and walk away, versus fuck off. They're very, very different energies, and one will allow the other person to potentially hear the rejection as just something other than, I don't like how this feels, versus fuck off is pretty much guaranteed to irritate the other person in such a way that they generally can't hear you. Our another is one of the exceptions in this, as she can read energy. And so if somebody says fuck off, she can actually read the energy imprint behind those words. But for the majority of you, nope. That doesn't work for you all, and that is fine. Because you are still much more literal than you are imaginary. So begin to shrink your world into what feels good and eliminate that which doesn't. And then reassess how many more people you would like to have in your life or how many more you would like to remove. It is your choice. What feels good, what doesn't? What are you willing to stand up for? 
What are you willing to die for? What are you really willing to be an advocate for? Find those passions and let everything else go. And the winnowing down is important in that process because you are all so overworked and overwhelmed and overpromised and overcommitted that you don't even remember what's important to you. So start to slow down. Shift your gears into first or second instead of fifth or sixth and start to look at your surroundings where you find yourself and why you find yourself there and take the corrective action that's needed. That is it. It is rather simple, but you don't even see it yet. You're becoming you in the most important ways by seeing what feels good and what doesn't. And for those of you who are actively professing this as your modus operandi, you will notice a big shift because your intentions do matter and they do call forth or create your future. And for those of you who don't believe it, that's fine because you will find in time that your intentions to create your reality. But until then, just keep on keeping on. You know where you're at. You know what you believe in and what you don't. And that is okay because you must honor you before anybody else's desire for you, including the voices that come through Kati's head. If it does not resonate with you, then it is simply not time yet. And so walk away and wait for your time capsule to open. It is coming in for many more of you. The popcorn kernels will begin to pop very soon as it warms up in the Northern Hemisphere. And for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, it is a hunkering down that you guys are going to be enjoying more now, the going within. It is the other side of the coin as you begin to understand the quietness, the solitude of deep root growth below the surface because above the ground you are in a space of relaxation and renewal and uh, renovation. A renovation of the within world, the inner world, the outer world can wait. So begin your next day, begin your next journey on this day of 4-11-22. And so it is Namaste.